the day at the shop here. We are working on uh, my brother's car today. We just got through doing the brakes on his car. So now he's giving it a wipe off. So this is what this is what he's working with. He's a Mercedes guys. He's a Mercedes guy. He's using like the old um, Toyota and Hondas like we do. So this is his beautiful S63 AMG. Just recently picked up. So I just did the fun in the back brakes for him. So now he's just giving it a quick wipe off. All right, so we got to get back to more important stuff than Mercedes. Back to the FX. So now we're doing here today now we're gonna start finishing up on the uh, the back engine mount that we are um, we already did the two top ones I went ahead and did some stuff off camera already I'm gonna show you guys what I got done so far the um, okay so this is what we're working with over here so this is the back this is the back bracket that's gonna go on the, uh, the engine so I just went ahead and just mocked up this right now I know she's not the prettiest thing in the world but it'll work and I'm still gonna you know clean up all the edges and make it like make, make it look a lot more smoother and you know grind it out make it look and it's gonna get painted and everything so don't worry how that came out it's gonna look a lot better okay so basically this is what I got here so far damn this table is messy man alright so this is gonna um, this is a back bracket that's gonna go on the, uh, the, the engine side. So now this is gonna basically go like this. And I already pre-drilled the holes already, so this is gonna go into this like that. So, yep, so now this side is gonna bolt on, basically turn like this towards the engine. place like that I'm gonna take you guys over to the car right now and show you how everything's gonna work the reason why I shave this thing down is because this metal is really heavy man so I basically take off the unnecessary metal that we're not gonna use so just to try lighten lighten everything up a little bit so like I said she looks a little rough but I still haven't really grind anything or, or, or shave it down yet so once I shave it down and everything it's gonna look a lot better so let me take you guys over to the car right now and see how everything show you how everything's gonna work out Okay guys, so now we're over to the car now. Now this basically is gonna sit in this little area right here. It's gonna hold to I'm gonna make a I'm gonna try to figure out something with this. So basically, it's gonna come and it's gonna hold right here. I had to notch out this side because it has to clear this little area right here, and I also have to make a little groove so it gets over this little hump right here. So basically it's gonna hold like that. As you can see, I only have two bolts that's holding it in place right now. What I plan on doing, I'm going to get me a piece of that angle iron and I'm going to come from here with a bracket and then it's going to go up to this side and I'm going to put a bolt into that side. So I'm going to have three bolts holding that bracket. So that should be more than enough to hold that bracket in place. This, this mount, it doesn't really hold the, it doesn't really support the engine or anything. This is just to stop the engine from moving back and forth. So with these three bolts, and it should be more than enough to hold that now we're gonna start making the, 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 the angle iron parts to go up here and connect to that bolt. Let me show you what I have in, I have in mind. So basically, we're gonna do something like this. Put up to right here. I would love to put this like this, but there's one problem if I put this like this. And as you can see, it's gonna block the, the, um, the axle, the CV axle, from getting inside the transmission. So I'm gonna have to tilt this back this way. Just so I can get it clearance. That should be good right here. We're gonna put this up on this side and we're gonna weld this onto this bracket. And then we're gonna get another bracket. I'm thinking about just getting another piece of iron and just come off from here and then team to this one. And that should be more than enough right here. And then I'm gonna just cut off all my unnecessary uh, metal right here just to try to lighten the metal a little bit. I might even drill some holes in here to take some weight out the metal. I don't want it to be too heavy. I'll just shave off all the unnecessary stuff. So, with that said, let me get back over to the uh, bench and start cutting some of this stuff away and start cleaning up. 
and then make, make my uh, one other record that's gonna go with you. Alright, so let me take you guys back over to the car and get that done. Alright guys, this is where we're at so far. I went ahead and took a little metal off the, um, the bracket. Like I said, to just try to get the metal to be a little bit lighter. Uh, this is how we're looking so far. So now, we're going to start making a piece that's going to come from under here and go up here. We do one the bolts. I might, I might box both ends in. I'm going to box this end in and also box the, uh, the end in up on the top. Just to try to give it a little strength. This metal is so thick, this, this is going to be more than good enough. Like I said, don't worry about the rough edges. I'm going to you know, get that clean up. I'm just making the bracket for now. And then later on, I'll go back and start cleaning up the edges and make it look like it came out of a CNC machine. So, all right, so we're going to start making this piece right here. Guys, so now we have the corner welded up. Uh, tight uh, Let's put it back on the corner. Let's see what we're looking at. And then we can make our box in. And then I'm gonna start shaping the middle and grind and cut and make everything look beautiful. Okay guys, so basically I um, I kind of like re-engineered the bracket a little bit, um, I was going to do something like this, but I went ahead and cut this off, I don't think I want to go that route again, so what I came up with, I'm going to just go ahead and swap that out and do something like this, basically, yeah that looks a lot better than that other one anyways, so this has a, a, a little bit of a better cleaner look, and now basically I'm going to tack here and tack there and um, Take 
this whole piece off and then take it over to the table and warm it up. But this should be more than fine uh, enough to support that um, the engine from rocking back and forth. Like I said, this doesn't really hold the weight of the engine any or anything. It just stops the engine from going back and forth. So this should be good enough. All right, so let's get this thing tacked up and keep on moving. So we got them tacked well, so now we need to just take this whole thing off and take it over to the table and we're gonna just go ahead and finish welding. Alright okay, guys, so the bracket is all welded in place now. Um, yeah, this should do the job, so everything still have to, I'm gonna re-sand everything down and you know, clean them up, grind, do a little grinding and repaint the bracket because now I added that piece on there, so try to get everything all uniformed. Um, I still have to drill the holes for here, for this 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 side right here and over here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes. I already drilled this side, so so there's one bolt here, but I still have to put another one over here. So alright, it's almost so the back bracket is almost coming to a completion. So yeah, we're looking good. That should be more than enough to hold that that thing in place. I'm gonna also paint this bracket up also, and um, you know, just try to make it look a little nicer than it is now. So that's it for that. As you can see, the axle has more than enough space for the axle to come straight through and the half shaft to bolt right up to the engine block. So we should be good on that. So yeah, guys, it's all coming together slowly but surely. All right, guys, so we're finished up here with the mount now. Now it's time to move on to something else. Uh, so tune in next time and we'll move on to something else in the project. Our existence is something that is spontaneous. Your hair grows by itself. Your heart beats by itself. You breathe pretty much by itself. You don't have voluntary control of these things. So we say it happens spontaneously. Try to breathe. Find you get balled up.